Okay, welcome back to RoboFX. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on the Roto Brush setting in the latest Adobe After Effects 2023. Um, not much has changed for this new generation of Adobe, but it's always good to get a refresher or, you know, if you haven't used this plugin before or this effect, then this is like a good starting point. So let's get into it. Okay, so we have our footage here. I just downloaded this from Pexels, some free... This is a cool little shot of a kind of like cyberpunk vibe and the reason I like this shot is because of the stark definition of the subject against the background. Now what you'll notice with the roto brush effect is that it really depends on the subject matter and the background and, and how visible that is. It can be a love-hate relationship for sure. Um, but for this instance, let's just use a subject that is clearly separated from the background background, just to make it a little easier. So let's go and drag our video into a new comp. And so we have this new composition here. Um, one thing you have to know is that the composition has to be the same frame rate of the video for this effect to work. Um, so I think we only need about up to here, so I'm just going to trim this comp. Okay, great. Now let's go up to our Roto Brush setting here and hit the Roto Brush tool. And immediately you'll be like, what's going on here? Nothing's popping up. So what you have to do is you have to double click on the video itself in the timeline to bring up the layer of the video. So as you can see, it comes up with this, this green sort of circle here. And, and, and what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be sort of drawing out our subject so that it gives a pink sort of outline around it. And you'll notice, you know, this wasn't the best outline. Like there's a little bunch of space here and a bunch of space over here. So what we have to do is we have to be kind of diligent in, in how we make this this work so let's just go back and um, one thing you can do to, to do this is if you hold down the alt key on your computer you can change the size of of what the uh, you know the mask uh, shape is going to look like so but to be a little more uh, precise I'm going to make it just a little smaller here just some, something like that around there and so first what we're going to do is we're just going to start up here and we're going to go around our subject. We don't have to be exact. It just needs to be kind of, you know, in the ballpark. And one thing I like to do is just kind of fill in that sort of section right there. So as you can see, we got a pretty decent um, first pass there. Um, but if we, if we scroll down, we'll realize that it stops there. Now, what we can only do here is, this is pretty easy, you just start around there and you wanna just do this and mask out the rest of it and it should connect it. Now, it connected it a little too much. So this is what we do now when we go into um, our erase mask option. So if we hold down option, we can just drag along here because we don't want any of this to show. And as you can see, it starts to delete some of these areas here. Okay. And we can get a little more precise with this. Just come in and sort of start deleting that so that it shows up there. Now again, it doesn't have to be exact. So right up here around this area is where I'm gonna focus on a little more. So we're gonna zoom in here. And again, I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to make this smaller so that we can get a little more precise. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to get that whole glass section in there. And now it took a little too much off, so let's just try to delete that. Boom, that looks good. And here we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna just start to edge out that area there and that looks looking better for sure. You see we want to get some of her hair in there but we don't want the jacket. Again doesn't have to be precise because we're going to go in there and we're going to fix all that. So 
right now this looks pretty good. Now, you can tell it's not perfect, so the next step for this is we want to go back up to where we have the roto brush setting up here. We want to go to refine edge tool. And now this brings up a sort of purple circle you know, cursor here. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to we're going to drag it along so that the exterior of it is sort of in the middle here. And we just want to do this. Let's just go around her whole face and the neck area right there. And as you see, this sort of um, black and white section shows up. Now what this is doing is it's sort of, it's giving a mat to the hair and to all the edges so that we have, you know, something that you can, you know, effect you can achieve in Photoshop a lot easier, but for video sake, this is the, the best we got. Um, so, you know, as this works really well with hair, as you can see, it's sort of getting all the little strands here and, and, and if her hair was a little more frizzy, it would, it would work just as good pretty much. Okay, so when we go back in, we can see that, you know, the Refine Edge tool is doing what we need it to do. It's giving a softer bit around her hair like that, which is what we want. As you can see here, we're getting some of that sort of choppiness around her face. So what we can do is we can go in here, go into Effects, bring down the Roto Brush Refine Edge. Let's bring the quality up to best. Okay, so let's bring in the Reduce Chatter all the way up to 100. And let's feather it out a little bit more. Now that looks pretty good. So the next thing we can do is we want to render this, but if we want to add a background, anytime we make any changes to this composition now, we're going to have to render it out completely. Um, so let's just add a quick background here. We'll do new solid. We'll make it like purple there okay and that that this will really show like where the sort of you know mistakes are gonna happen so right now we're seeing this on the right side of her arm so let's go back in here and see what's going on here. so let's try to get rid of this here Great, and now if we go back into our composition, that should be fixed. So you can always add and, and subtract from the mat itself. Now let's just hit our spacebar to render this through. And depending on the speed of your computer, this kind of takes a bit of time, or, or depending on how complex your, your sequence is as well. So yeah, that's sort of the basic principles and uh, jumping off point for you to start getting into your roto brushing techniques. Um, you know, you can always go back into the roto brush and refi refine edge settings here and mess with the smoothness and the feathering and, and you know, figure out what works best for your project and for your video specifically. Um, this is not sort of a one size fits all effect here. This is something that needs to be tweaked a lot to get the right sort of outcome that you want from it that's why i say we have a love-hate relationship with it but you know it can be a very powerful tool if used correctly and uh i hope i hope that helps and if you saw what you like today if you learned something hit that subscribe button please and uh share a like and we'll see you next time